Welcome to MAN 3611, Cross-Cultural Human Relations and Negotiation. My name is Dr. David Hurst, and I'm your instructor this spring semester of 2019 at Florida Atlantic University. This is a fully online course. That means it's a distance learning course, and we'll be doing everything using the Canvas Learning Management System. So since we're doing that, I figured it would be a good idea to give you an introduction to how the course is set up and what you can expect going forward. First, let's take a look at the masthead of our, of our Canvas site. As you see here, there are a lot of things to click on. Most people go right here and click where it says click here for course orientation. But I want to walk you through some of the options you have. First, let's take a look at the support page. As you can see in the support page, if you're having trouble with Canvas, there are multiple links to, uh, to bring you to places to get you the help that you need, in addition to a minor tutorial to help you go understand how Canvas operates. If these don't help you, you can go ahead and click over here on the Help button, which will bring you to a number of links, including online chat and 24-hour support uh, phone support. So if you have a Canvas-specific question, this is where you need to go to get the answers that, uh, to help you move forward. Resources. There are some things that people need at FAU that I simply cannot provide. For example, you might need some help with learning. You might need some help with writing. You might need some help with other issues such as uh, times in, in test taking that you need to officially register with FAU for. Here are some of the resources that will help you to do those kinds of things. Finally, we have more course specific links, such as the course orientation, the syllabus link, and the course content link. The course content link brings you to the modules section on Canvas. So either one of these is fine as far as getting into where you can find all your materials and links to quizzes and group based assignments. First, let's take a look at the syllabus link. Now, in the syllabus link, you're going to see a number of links to assignments that are coming due in the coming uh, in the coming weeks. You can use these to go right to the assignment, but I'd highly recommend you first get yourself familiar with the syllabus itself. To do this, you want to click here in order to download the complete document. This is our syllabus. The first page has contact information for me and the requirements as far as materials. As you can see, we only have one book that's required. That's Damar and Janice's uh, Negotiation and Dispute Resolution, second edition. You can get this anywhere you like. It is available in the bookstore as well. Our course description, talking about how we're going to learn about cross-cultural human relations and negotiation. An understanding of the prerequisites required for this course, as well as what's expected of you as far as working on this course is concerned objectives for the course. And finally, we get to our grading. As you can see, there are a number of items in which you're going to be graded upon. First and foremost are the syllabus quiz and student introductions. I highly recommend you get these done in the first two weeks. They will be coming due uh, about two weeks from next Monday. The next Monday by I'm referring to is one week after the course has opened. The reason why I wait until then in order to officially begin the course is because we tend to have people adding and dropping the course during the add drop period and creating groups and things like that at that time is simply not helpful and requires me to go back and double check everything. So instead we will wait until Monday to put you into groups for your, both your discussion boards and for your group based papers. In the meantime, however, if you do plan on continuing with the course, do go through the syllabus and take the syllabus quiz and do your student introduction assignment, which I'll describe in just a bit. 10% of your grade is based on discussion boards. 7.5% will be based on what's known as a team charter. After I put you into groups, you'll be writing that. And 40% is based upon your team, your team papers and another 40% based upon chapter quizzes. Let's talk about how this course is set up. First of all, every assignment is due at 11.59 p.m. of the Monday of the week in which it was assigned. Try to keep in mind that if you have trouble uploading an assignment, for example, a paper, or completing a discussion board before it closes at 11.59 p.m. because you're busy looking something up or writing something, uh, typing something into the system, that once the assignment closes, 
it cannot be reopened. So just barely missing the deadline is not acceptable, simply because of the fact that all assignments will be open well in advance of their due dates. So waiting to the last minute and then not getting it done is still the equivalent of simply not getting it done. So please be sure to finish things on time. For your quizzes, including your syllabus quiz, you will need to download the Respondus Lockdown browser. Let's go back to our home page and take a look at where you can find that. First thing you should do is click on the course orientation. Next, if you need a, 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 a version of Microsoft Office, FAU offers it for free. So click here for that, and it'll bring you to a page where you can download Microsoft Office for free onto a Windows or Macintosh machine. Unfortunately, this is not available for Chromebooks. All assignments that are written, all group assignments, must be handed in in Microsoft Office, Microsoft Word, excuse me. Next, go to the course orientation where it says, well, course orientation start here. Click on what to expect from this course, and it gives you a brief understanding of what I just showed you in the syllabus. You'll have a syllabus quiz, student introductions, uh, chapter quizzes, discussion boards, and peer evaluation uh, by group members on your group papers. For a little bit about me, click on the faculty introduction. As you can see, I've worked in both academia as well as in, uh, in industry. I have done leadership development for Fortune 50 and Fortune 500 companies, including Roche Pharmaceuticals, Saudi Aramco, and various other uh, companies across the years. Although in the last few years, I must admit that I have not been doing that the last uh, three or four years. Instead, I've focused on my academic career. A little bit about Canvas basics, what to expect. Netiquette rules will be applied and enforced. So if you decide to become rude, belligerent, or threatening of another student using email or messaging of any kind whatsoever, that will be reported to the Honor Committee and to see whether or not to determine whether or not an honors violation has happened. So please just be just be polite with each other. Lastly, we get to our, the Respondus Lockdown Browser, student introductions, and, and the uh, syllabus quiz links. So within here, you can, be, you can get to a page that will help you to download the Lockdown Browser. If you have a Lockdown, if you have a Windows machine, you can click here for the Lockdown Browser for the Windows machine, and click here for the Lockdown Browser for the Macintosh machine. You might say to yourself, Dr. Hurst, why am I downloading this thing onto my, my laptop? I have you know don't want anything extra in there i don't want uh, malware to get a part of this viruses whatever it might be well the lockdown browser has been around for quite some time at least all of the the 15 years that i've been at fau and this is a very benign program it does not dig itself into your system and leave traces of itself once deleted so once you're done with the class go ahead and delete the, the program and it's gone it's it's very easy to just drop it in the trash and poof out it goes what does a lockdown browser do? Well, basically it doesn't allow you to look things up while you're taking a quiz. So when you start taking the quiz, first of all, you can't take it without the lockdown browser. Once you do open it using the lockdown browser, you won't be able to move around your, your PC, either laptop or desktop, in order to look up notes, to search the internet, things like that. The idea is this, is that you really should be taking quizzes based upon the knowledge and tests, based on the knowledge and understanding that you bring to them. However, I understand that these, this is an online class and therefore I am perfectly okay with you using your books and notes that you have written down in front of you. That's fine. I simply don't want you to have to, the easy way of looking something up and then answering it. Now, of course, we all have phones and they're smartphones and they have search capabilities. So yes, this is a little antiquated. It's a small way around doing things, but it's very simple. What I found is this. If people are not given a really easy option of cheating, they tend to try to do the work instead. So that's really where that comes from. We go back to the course orientation page. You can go right to your syllabus quiz and your student introduction boards from here. Let's take a look at the student introduction board. So this is really straightforward. All I need you to do is to put your name, 
why you're here, what year you, you are in, are you a freshman, sophomore, junior, or senior, and what you hope to gain from the course. So write those three things in so I get a better understanding of you, and also so you can get a better understanding of each other if you decide to start, or if and when you start working together in groups. Finally, we have the student quiz, sorry, the syllabus quiz, excuse me. Within the syllabus quiz, you'll be asked very specific questions about the syllabus. So, for example, you'll want to read the syllabus, which we had been going over before, and know that your quizzes are due on Monday at 11.59 p.m. You also might want to know that you have to use the Respondus Lockdown Browser, which, of course, you won't be able to take the syllabus quiz without using the Respondus Lockdown Browser anyway. So there you have it. The point of the syllabus quiz is very basic. I want people to understand what's required of them within the course, and the best way to do that is to ask them a little bit about what's in the syllabus. Now, most of this can be answered from the first two pages and the last two pages of your syllabus. The last two pages have to do with a schedule of when things are coming due. My apologies for the scrolling. So for example, you might want to know how many group assignments we're going to be having or how many quizzes you're going to possibly be taking, things like that. Those are the questions that will be answered and asked, excuse me, within the syllabus quiz. All right. So that's the course orientation. After this, if we're starting from the home page again, if you click on course content, it brings you to everything you need for this course. Links to student introduction uh, discussion board, link to the syllabus quiz. Once you're done with those things, you can go on to look up specific sections of the syllabus if you want to check those out within the course content area, as well as get to all of the PowerPoints and any video lectures that may occur, as well as the quizzes, links to the quizzes for the chapters within each different module. Each of these modules is related to a section within your book. So foundations of negotiation and dispute resolution have to do with your first two chapters of your book. The negotiation process has to do with the next three, and so on and so forth. Please be sure to familiarize yourself with what's required of you within the course so that you can go to the particular section and find the quiz, PowerPoint downloads, video lectures where, or where they're offered in order to help you to complete the class successfully. Finally, you'll also find all information for team-based team -based assignments here under Team Charter and Group Papers section. I highly recommend that you read these two first general assignment instructions. The first one talks a little bit about guidelines for completing papers, that everything has to be done in Microsoft Word, how to build a paper, uh, formatting requirements, things like that. The second has to do with structuring your team. This is very important. There will be times when people simply don't get their work done and they don't communicate well about that with the rest of the group. If that's the case, you're going to have to deal with them. And I'm going to have to deal with them because you're going to be bringing that to me if it's, a, it's, a, if it's an ongoing problem and communication continues to be lacking. To help you with this process, I highly recommend you read through this about it, setting up rules and procedures for helping you to complete the course with the teammates that you are going to be assigned with to. All right. So that's our course on Canvas. If you have any questions going forward, please let me know. Remember that you will be assigned by me on um, the Monday after classes begin to a work project group, uh, as well a group project uh, group, as well as a discussion group. And from there, you'll be able to complete those assignments. Again, my name is Dr. David Hurst, and welcome to MAN 3611 Cross-Cultural Human Behavior and Negotiation.